All right, here we go. Again, thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you're enjoying your, your Christmas season tonight. Oh, let's go ahead. And you're joining us for an on-ramp to wellness to kind of get a picture. Some of you um, may be here just to check out what we do because you're such an encourager and we'd love to have you kind of see what, what we do, what we do as you're encouraging. Some of you may be looking at getting health yourself. Some of you may be looking for the adventure of coaching. I don't know. I'm just glad that you're all here. So my name is TJ and I'll be host the host tonight on our on-ramp to wellness. And we've got some great presenters lined up and some great topics to help you understand more about health and wellness. But in addition to that, how you can become part of the process and develop skill sets that you can use to help other people. So please have a piece of paper. And as you have questions, please write them down or any takeaways that really stand out to you during our time together. I'd love to have you ask your questions here live and or tell us what you loved about what's going to be discussed tonight. And we'll do that towards the end. So again, my name is TJ and I've been coaching for eight and a half years now. And it has been incredible to be a part of this whole process, the process of becoming a healthy person through lifelong transformation. So what I'd love to have you do as we're getting started is to think about these three areas. We call this the trilogy of wellness. If you think about your life, you have a body, what you physically live in. Then we have our mind where you process life and it also controls the body. And then we have the financial part, how we earn money uh, to finance the life that we want to live. So grab that piece of paper and think about where you are in the healthy body category. Think of it on a scale from one to 10. Think about your physical activity, about your weight, your eating habits, relaxation, sleep, what about the environment that you live in every day? How would you score yourself in the category about healthy body? Let's think about the healthy mind. I gotta remember to move this over. <laughs> so it includes your hobbies and fun, also things like how fulfilled you are, your community involvement, how engaged you are at work, what about your spiritual time and how strong are your relationships? So these are the mind category. Next, we have the area of finances, money management and thinking about your needs and, and necessities. Do you have the ability to give back to your community with contributions as much as you would like to? Do you have resources to create memories and experiences, that's my favorite one. And when we have more than we need, it kicks over into the abundance category. And you can think more about the freedom to be able to choose to use your finances to do things that make you smile. Saving for the future. What is your score? Write it down. And at the end of tonight, we're gonna circle back and look at this again. We want to talk about where you are on the trilogy of health. And if it's not where you want to be, if it's not as healthy as you want to be in one or all of these areas, let's see if any of the tools that we're about to talk about can help. Here we are, our components. These are the bedrock of the whole plan. This is what makes it a lifelong transformation, not a diet. You've probably never heard of these four components as the foundation to health and wellness before. I hadn't, and I am a I was a professional dieter previously. <laughs> a lot of times you think about a weight loss program and it includes an eating plan, maybe a coach or an exercise plan. But when you think about a real transformation program, 
it's not going to only affect your physical health, but it's going to affect your whole life. So we have balanced nutrition and we make balanced nutrition super simple by using what we call fuelings. We have the habits of health. That's the learning and how we learn these new habits. Then we have the people that are striving for greater health that we get to be with. These are the people that will inspire us forward. This is the community. We also have a partner. We call this partner our coach. And the coach is here to go through your journey and guide you. When you break it down and you take those four components, they're in the middle. The coach's job is to learn these four components and learn how to how they work. And then our job as the coach is to utilize those four components with people that become clients. The job of the client is to take those four components and to integrate and learn all about them over a period of time. And the more the client integrates into those four areas, the greater their numbers increase in the areas of the trilogy of wellness. <laughs> it's crazy how it all works together, body, mind, and finances. This is just a little bit of an overview of the four components. Now we're going to break down each component with somebody sharing their testimony and what that component meant to them within their journey to health. So I'm excited to introduce you to Christy. Here are her before and after pictures. Christy, please tell us your story and a little bit about how you have used the balanced nutrition piece. Okay, thank you so much, TJ. Hi, my name's Christy, and I started this program, amazing program at that, just over two years ago. I met TJ at the restaurant my husband Jeff and I owned for over 20 years, the Austin House in Bates, Oregon. TJ and I became Facebook friends, and after I kept seeing what she was posting, I finally said to my husband, I'm going to call TJ and see what she's all about. He said, sure, but I don't want anything to do with it. So I started my journey in July of 21. Before I started this program, I was tired, had no energy, my knees and my feet hurt, and to top it off, I had high blood pressure. In my first month on plan, I lost 16 pounds and no longer needed my blood pressure medication. And to top it off, I felt like that 16 pounds just melted off. It's just crazy. And I felt amazing and still do. And that's when Jeff said, okay, I'm ready to do this with you. And I was so happy. <laughs> TJ asked if I wanted to coach him. And I said, no. Shortly after he came on plan, a friend reached out and also wanted to start her health journey. So that's when I decided I would coach others to be healthy also. So, so you recognize that people wanted what was happening to you and you could offer the gift of health to them as well, right? Right. And I'm so, so happy to have found this program and to be able to share it with others because it is really a blessing. We were, and we were so busy with our business and often ate on the run. I remember after a busy day, we would sometimes be so tired that the easiest thing to eat was a bowl of ice cream. <laughs> it's hard to believe how we used to eat versus now. Running a restaurant but not having time to cook different food for ourselves made it a challenge to get healthier. We were relieved to find that this program was such an effective and easy plan to follow. And all around us there were so many temptations with our restaurant from ice cream to deep fried foods and candy. But with the convenience of our nutritionally balanced feelings, I found I really did not need all those temptations to satisfy myself. Jeff and I together have now lost about 80 pounds and improved our health thanks to our feelings, fuelings, <clears throat> which are balanced nutrition made super simple. They are scientifically made and low glycemic with vitamins and probiotics and are so easy to use. We eat one in the morning within an hour of getting up and every three hours throughout the day. 
And there's a lot of variety <clears throat> with choices from shakes, bars, brownies, chocolate pudding, pasta, soups, and many more, many, many more. And we eat, when we eat this way, it creates a place in our body where we can, in a natural way, bring the blood sugar up in small amounts every two and a half hours. This turns off our fat storing system and shifts us into a fat burning process during the losing phase of this journey to health. The feelings are in use to create this to help it be super simple. What we do has to be simple to be sustainable so that we can succeed. And they are so convenient. We can just grab one for our pocket or purse. That way, wherever we might be, we have it with us. And this program has truly transformed our eating habits and helped us to make much better choices every day. And thank you, TJ, for having me. And with them being so healthy and, and, and good and probiotics and vitamins, how do they taste? They're great. I enjoy them. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go, oh my gosh. And they taste good too. <laughs> yes, they do. Thank you. So much. Especially the s'mores bar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So fun. All right. Well, let's move on to our second component. Mike is going to share his story and a little bit about our education piece, the habits of health. So Mike, join us. Hello, TJ, how are you doing? Yeah, thank you. Well, there's several guys on here and I know some of them have been married for, for a while. And our journey started with Paul coming home one night and announcing to me at dinner, it's time that we go on a diet. She says, well, I'm going to go on knowing full well that I'm going to be coming along as well. And the time of year was the first part of November last year. I was not the time of year that I wanted to go through. It had Christmas, New Year's, Thanksgiving, Super Bowl, the bowl games, not a good time. So a day or so later, she tells me that she wants to also not only do this diet thing, but she wants to coach it as well because she knows she's the people are going to notice. As I she would email, it's called a health evaluation. I need you to fill it out, submit it. She tells me I sit down with her upline coach, TJ, and go through this evaluation for training for her when she does it, when she's coaching. So I sit down with TJ. We're going through stuff on a Zoom meeting, not having any idea at that point that I was really going to do this program at this point in time. And the more she talked, going through the questions, talking about the things that I had submitted on the health evaluation. It just made more sense, more sense, and more sense. And finally, I said, TJ, I says, I'm in. She says, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. This is a training for Paula. So we've got to finish this thing up. I says, okay. I says, but I'm in. And she was surprised. Paula was as well. And I was just a little bit too. But one of the things, it all made sense, the whole four components, but one of them was, was the education part. In the past, when you start a diet, you kind of get the initial thing put onto you and you go into it. And then depending on what happens, what's going on, getting back into old habits, it works for a short time and then it goes away. With, the, with this program, you've got the mind education to go along with what you're putting into your system in the feelings that Chris just talked about. Dr. Wayne Anderson's put out a couple of books, Dr. A. This is one of them here, The Habits of Health. It's a great resource to find out information about a lot of different things um, that pertain to what we're talking about. The other one is the life book. You get both of these when you start out with, and you can see this one's fairly thick, but the idea of this one is to read about five minutes or so a day. And you talk about, you know, one of the important things is talking about is is making good choices, stop, challenge, and choose. This, do I really want to do this and put it in my mouth or do I want to do something different? And that helps. But the more you get into this, the more you read and, and go through and answer the questions it asks you, it helps you to, to see what you've been doing, how you've been sabotaging yourself and how you can correct that and put yourself into a much better frame of mind, which then leads everything else to work much better as well. 
not much about reading things to people, but in the in the front part of this book, there's a quote from Dr. A that, that impressed me the first time I read it, and it continues to, and I wanted to share that with you. And I quote Dr. A, one of the biggest and most powerful realizations we can have is to know that our life path is not fixed. The way you think, the way you act, the way the people you spend time with, and even the world you live in can be changed. All things are possible. You have the capacity to over time with specific focus, gratitude, practice to become the dominant force in your life. And that's one of the big components of this deal is the education and taking control of yourself. About six months after we started in November, I dropped 60 pounds. I feel great. I haven't felt this good in a long time. I got four little grandkids to chase after. They better run fast because I'm coming. Oh my goodness, I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike. That was that was phenomenal. I'll, I'll tell you, seriously, the education, um, doing the mindset work is is a huge piece of this. And and um, you know, you saw those those big books. Don't let those overwhelm you. Dr. A actually loves to tell you that when you first get them, just use them as weights. Do curls, <laughs> which cracks me up. But everything has to be simple. So five minutes a day to be able to become a healthy person, eh, it'll make it'll make me cry. Eight and a half years after having been a yo-yo dieter all of my life. And when we started this, what I told myself was, I'm not a reader. Well, guess what? I've been through the book and I've been through the book and I've been through the book again because I know that I want lifelong transformation and this piece is so powerful. You know, we have four components. It's not just about those feelings. Each one of those are 25% of the program. We have to integrate into each one of them. And Mike just told you his story with it. It's powerful stuff. Let's become healthy person people instead of just going on another diet. So ah, thank you so much, Mike. So let, <laughs> let's, I could do this forever, guys. I, I love what has happened in my world, if you couldn't tell. So let's move on to this beautiful lady and let her tell her story and a little bit more about the community aspect that we have. Thanks, Paula. Hi, TJ. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Paula Parker and Mike's wife, as he just explained. And I have been one that has been on every diet plan there is out there and would do great for a couple months and then fall off. And then I was telling people I was on a diet plan and then I would be embarrassed because I would fall off and not be successful. So I am a hairdresser. I have a salon. I've been doing hair for 45 years. And so standing behind the chair all day long, very busy and eating was not easy for me in the salon. So I just grab whatever I could on the run. And growing up as a farm girl, I never had a weight problem until I reached middle age and put on all this weight and was so frustrating. It, it really almost seems like it snuck on me, but I woke up one day bending over, trying to tie my shoe and I couldn't breathe. And it's like, Oh God, something's got to give. And so, <laughs> so I saw my sister and a niece one day, and they were talking about how much they've lost on this plan. And I go, what? And they were saying, they were telling me about it. And I said, well, I'm not going to be the only chubby one in the family. So sign me up. So my niece signed me up and um, I've lost over 50 pounds to do. And in six months and kept it off for over six months now. And Mike and I combined have lost 110 pounds. So we lost almost a whole person, a little person. <laughs> and, but 
TJ, when I did a health assessment with TJ and she asked me, what holds you back? What's the, the issue? Why do you think you fail at different diets? Because I was always, I started dieting in the dark as they call it, because I didn't want to tell anybody else I'm doing this other diet again, but I didn't have to tell anybody when I started this one because everybody started noticing and they were asking me. So I told TJ, I just, I fall off after a while because I feel deprived. And she told me, she goes, well, what you're really depriving yourself of is lots of energy. And you're depriving yourself of running around with your little grandkids. And you're depriving yourself of that cute little black dress on New Year's Eve. And you're depriving yourself, <laughs> which is coming up. And so I said, you're absolutely right. So it was a mind shift. And it's it's like Mike was saying, it's a mind shift. You have to get the mind and the body working together under control. So I'm going to talk about community. Community is so important to me because I am so connected with people. I love people. And that's why I've been a hairdresser for so long. And with this plan, you have community, we have Zoom meetings, you can have, we have what we call a, a win Zoom twice a day, 15 minutes. It's just where real people with real obstacles in their life and real successes get together and they share what's working and what's working there. So we focus on what's working, not what's not working. And then we have an optimal health community zoom once a week monday evenings half hour and we are inspired and and we get to talk to people that have huge successes and what's working and and we even have a facebook group called wellness warriors which i love to get on because i'm always posting a recipe or a funny story or what's going and what's working in their lives so I was reading it one day, I was looking on Wellness Warriors, and I came across the story of this woman that had said, I really had a bad night last night. I tripped and accidentally fell into a bag of Cheetos. Then while crawling out, I rolled out into a bag of Oreos. And then I had to break up with my friend Tito. And then I realized that was my sister on there telling this story. And so I called her up who is Tito? And she said, she showed me a picture. She's it's Tito vodka and it's a bottle. And she showed me a picture of it upside down, running into the drain of the sink. And I said, well, it's a good thing you broke up with Tito because he makes you bit, do really bad choices. So, but, and coaching, the community of coaches, it's not just my coach, it's my coach's coach and my coach's coach's coach. We all work together to help everybody. And we focus on the future you want, the body you want, the mindset you want, not just losing weight. Losing weight is a, a wonderful thing that happens after you're on this program, because that's your main focus at first, but then it extends to, oh my gosh, different things in life are working so well because my mindset has shifted and I'm focusing on the positive. And yeah, I'm Mike's coach too, which is great because I get to tell him what to do. Surprise, <laughs> surprise. And, but I love coaching. We love coaching together. We co-coach and we love coaching couples because it's so fun. That's that extra layer of support for each other. And I guess we can be an example of that. Two minds are better than one. Yeah, we love it. So thank you so much, TJ. Thank and you, TJ. Awesome, awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. And, and if you couldn't tell, we have so many different avenues for being able to step into community. And if you think about community, I love to think of how when we have kids, we encourage our kids to hang out with those good kids because we want those kids to desire to be like the good kids. Well, as adults, if we want to be healthy people, 
do you think we need to hang out with healthy people? So we have so many different places for us to plug in. Again, it needs to be simple. So we start with whatever works. It may be one or two win zooms in the Monday night webinar. Um, go into like she's like Paula said, the the wellness warriors encourage other people. Community means we're in there encouraging others also. And it just stirs something in your heart when you have, that's why it's 25% of our program is to be hanging out with other people, encouraging them and allowing them to encourage us. So it's a powerful piece of what we do. So thank you so much, Paula. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> All right, let's now let's move over to Raquel and she's going to tell us her story and tell us a little bit about the coach. Oh, Raquel, are you with us? Hi. Nope, there you are. <laughs> Thanks, Raquel. <laughs> I'm Raquel. I reached retirement age and I was so excited to begin the fun-filled adventurous lifestyle that I had dreamed of. I retired, sold our house, and we moved across the states to start a new chapter in our life. The first thing I did was turn off my phone. I had been on call 24-7 for years. However, even with my phone turned off, I wasn't sleeping all night. I think I slept all night maybe two or three times a year. I had developed really poor sleeping habits. So I was tired during the day. I had to eat to stay awake. Anything quick and easy found its way into my mouth. Poor food choices actually showed up on my scales. I ended up weighing more than I did when I delivered my nine pound, 11 ounce son. That extra weight, it hurt my knees and feet and it was hard to walk. So my retirement dreams rapidly faded. I went yeah. in to have a wellness exam, even though I was anything but well. I was overweight, overwhelmed, so discouraged, depressed, hypersensitive, pre-diabetic, and I had high cholesterol. <laughs> and it didn't help that I started getting mail from funeral planning services. <laughs> My doctor put me on medication and that made me feel worse. About four months after I retired, we traveled back to our former hometown for a visit. I went to my old office I saw my nursing assistant and was so shocked at her transformation. She looked great. Of course, I called her when she got home from work because I didn't want everyone to know that I was going to talk to her about this, but I wanted to know what she was doing. And she told me she was on a simple program with the coach. Well, I hung up. I had to think about this. The word coach made me think about our Marine Corps gunny that was leading PT in Pensacola, Florida. I called her back in a couple of days and I asked her if I had to have a coach. I didn't wanna be yelled at or called a maggot. I didn't wanna run because I actually couldn't. And besides my kids told me not to ever run in front of anybody. Well, she assured me that none of that would happen. So I agreed to talk with her coach. The definition of a coach is a passionate, dedicated individual who unlocks hidden potential and maximizes performance by believing, encouraging, teaching, advising, and supporting others to achieve their best. And to me, that is the perfect description of TJ. I jumped on board and within five months, I had lost 45 pounds. TJ was there for the good, the bad, and the ugly. She was always encouraging 
And she never once called me a bad name or made me feel bad about myself. The coat makes all the difference in the world. Losing the weight was the easy part. Understanding how you got there in the first place and learning how to keep it off is the magic that the coach brings. The coach points you in the right direction and guides you on your own personal path to optimal health. Health. <clears throat> Having a coach also helped make me accountable. It was good knowing that I was not completely alone trying to navigate this new journey. Thanks to my amazing coach, I am thriving and enjoying a healthy life. I want to be a coach like TJ. I feel great and I want others to have the best health they can have. I love the service and helping others that the coach does. In fact, our coaches coach each other. It is team coaching. No one is left to fend for themselves. TJ helped me coach my husband who has lost 53 pounds and is thriving also. We have our retirement dreams back. We travel to new places. We visit our grandkids. I'm able to wrestle on the floor with them, especially my grandkids that call me wrinkled. Our dream is to run on the beach in Hawaii with them. I know it will become a reality soon. Thank you, TJ. Oh my gosh. Isn't she something? So <laughs> Raquel, I am so proud of who you have become, both in becoming a healthy person and also as you bloom more and more as a coach who is breathing life and health into others. When we first start coaching, like she said, we start without any knowledge. That's why we team coach. It's an apprenticeship model. Our coach actually coaches our first clients for us. And as we become more and more confident and more educated in coaching, we take over more and more responsibility. It is again, super simple because simple is sustainable and with sustainability, we succeed. Do you hear a theme going on here? <laughs> and having a coach as a partner to link arms with is so powerful. Having somebody who's always on your side, helping to awaken you to what's next. So let me go over here. And sometimes when we get to this point, something in our brain say it, says, I need to learn more and more. I need to remember the details of this. How does this work? Really? It's almost too simple. It seems like it needs to be more complex. You know, it really is that we have these four things, balanced nutrition, the education to become a healthy person, a community that is going to give you the drive to strive for greater health and having a coach to guide you, encourage you and support you all of the way. It's about learning and living a different life and maybe even becoming a coach for the accountability or the income or the desire to help others or the finances. I think my biggest awakening was when I realized that me, little old me, can make a difference in the world. That's my driving force behind being a coach. So as we think of the next steps, let's re reflect back on the number that you had at the beginning. And now that you've seen this information, as you integrate those four components into your life, how will your numbers change? It starts to increase. We want to try to see if we can get to an eight or above, and not only in one or two areas, but in all three areas. This is very, very significant because you may be high in one area and low in another one, but we're trying to do it over time using these four components because we want to be able to slowly make the progress in balancing it all out. So I want to stop for a minute here. This is more of an open discussion part. And so 
you can wave at me or raise your hand or just come off of mute. Um, but I'd love to hear a little bit about what one of the components that stood out to you um, or have you, um, what, what, what questions do you have? Um, one of the, any of these stand out questions, comments, or do you just want to shout a kudos out to your coach? Who would like to come off of mute here? You've heard all of our voices and we'd love to hear yours. Anybody, you can just unmute yourself and give us a question or comment. Hey, yes, Dan. Hi, everybody. Um, so I was actually inspired to uh, get healthy. Um, my roommate after college, Travis, who's actually on this, this Zoom, um, he uh, lost a whole bunch of weight, looked amazing. Um, and so I asked him um, how he did it. And so he actually introduced me to uh, to Paula and, and uh, uh, Mike. And it was amazing uh, how simple this program has been. Uh, the, the the Parkers and and TJ alike have been so uh, amazing to work with. They're so encouraging. Um, just I love being uh, you know even though we're miles apart, I I love being in their presence. Um, that feed off that energy. Um, you know I'm just about a month into the program. Um, I'm about twenty pounds lighter. Uh, exercising five, six times a week now, which I did not do before and haven't done since uh, probably 2012. I've had some uh, pretty serious health issues regarding uh, back and spine surgeries and with the, with fusions, um, knee injuries. Um, so getting out, getting active again, um, has been really energizing and uh just i i love how simple this program is um it's just yeah super simple i have a huge sweet tooth so for me <laughs> going through the checklist to say ooh chocolate pudding ooh chocolate brownies ooh chocolate this or s'mores uh has been amazing so love the food um, we're experimenting with the different leaning greens, um, and yeah, through the wellness, uh, warrior, uh, Facebook page, I've got some recipes from there that, uh, for the leaning greens and the encouragement from all those folks. So amazing program. And I just, again, want to give big shout out to Mike and Paula and, and of course, Travis for introducing me, uh, to you guys and, and, and TJ as well. Awesome. You know, I think I think these two, Travis and, and Dan, I haven't heard for sure, but I think they've been talking back and forth a little competition between them about how much each one of them lose and keep pushing each other. And that's not a bad thing. <laughs> community, that seriously, it all comes <laughs> down to all of the communities. It looks like Travis and Wendy came off. Do you want to add something there? Sure. So I'll piggyback on to what Dan said, um, yeah, we we started the program three September. months ago, September, yeah, and um, it, like Dan said, it is it's an amazing program. Uh, I am I'm not one for dieting, uh, and I've uh, never really done it much, but uh, I've to date lost fifty seven pounds. Um, I think Wendy 20. is 20 pounds, so she's done it with me. She's the one that got me into this, actually. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks to Mike and Paula and TJ and, and uh, Dan. Maybe it sounds like a little competition is needed then, you know. <laughs> oh we'll have to figure something out. Just to make it interesting. <laughs> oh, I love that, guys. Absolutely. I don't. I don't think I can get to 57 overnight, though, to catch, keep up with you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Dang it. You had a head start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh my goodness. Who else would like to come off and ask a question or um, shout your coach out or just talk about one of the components, maybe even that, that has you a little bit intrigued? Anybody? Anybody, anybody? And the person that joined with the phone, you can actually hit star six to unmute if if you would like to share something, just so you know that. So, all right, anybody else? Going, going. Okay, we'll go ahead and share. I actually do have a question. Yeah. I'm Heidi, uh, his wife. Yeah. And I am not on the program. Um, my lifestyle is very active and I eat healthy. Um, so when I look at different recipes to cook for Dan, I look at Octavia, but I don't have the full um, full access, I guess, to all the recipes. And then of course, TJ shares recipes. <laughs> Um, but then I also look at um, like keto recipes. So is that is that a pretty good option? Like um, I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be making a pork loin roast in the crock pot that is a keto friendly recipe. No. So is that kind of? We are not keto. Yeah. We um keto is high. Yeah, I know you're not keto and high protein, and so you just have to be very very mindful because we want balanced fat, and and our fat component is only about twenty to twenty five percent of of our intake for the day. So we have to be really mindful of that. When it says keto friendly, a lot of times they don't care if it's healthy fat or if it's saturated fats. So that's something, and Heidi, I encourage mm -hmm. you to jump into the education too, and it's bar none incredible. Um, keto friendly, again, you just have to be careful because keto doesn't want any carbs, and we're 40% lean, or 40% low glycemic carbs during the losing phase. That actually right. um, shifts when we get into optimization, and then we're 40% uh -huh lean proteins, not any proteins. That's why bacon's not on ours or fattier hamburgers or things like that. So we have to be really careful. Um, don't hesitate to reach out if you see your recipe because yeah, we do encourage a lot of protein, but it's on the lean proteins and we do mm -hmm. um, direct you towards healthy fats and we do limit them in our macronutrient balance. During the losing phase, it's again, 40% low glycemic carbs, 40% lean proteins, 20% healthy fats. And then that shifts just a little bit down to about 35% uh, protein, 45% carbs, 20, 25%, you know, not exactly once we get into that optimization phase, which is something that um, shifts its well, anyways, yeah. So probably the best thing is just reach out if you see something and we can kind of give you a, a better idea of that. And remember, you have his books. Okay. Don't hesitate to use his books. Um, you can sign into the Optivia app for the other uh, components if you would like to. Okay, uh, yeah. I didn't know if I could do yeah. that or not. So I will yeah. do that. Yep, that would be fine. Okay, fabulous. thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Anybody else have a comment or question? Good stuff, guys. TJ. Yes. This is Peggy. Hi, Peggy. I'm having a little struggle technically, but I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Mike and Paula because uh, I started right after Paula. So I was kind of her guinea pig going through <laughs> all of this. And you stepped in and, and helped teach her how to do it. Yeah. And I love the community. I love the friendships. I know I've got uh, friendships forever from being in this program. And it's even revived some older friendships that I had that they saw on Facebook what I was doing. So I'm very happy with the program. 
<laughs> love that, Peggy. We are so proud of you. And you have just been such an inspiration to so many people around you, too. That's that's what it is. You're building a community around you who are watching you and are holding you accountable, even as you're optimizing. How long have you been optimizing now? Has it been has it been close? Since March. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so much. Yep. Congratulations. That's fun. Thank you, TJ. And thank you, Paula. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. You've done amazing and you look amazing. So good job. Yep. All right. So let's, um, now let's finish up here with a challenge and an invitation. So on the screen, you're going to see five QR codes. So if Christy invited you or Mike and, or Paula invited you to tonight, I want to and you want to get some more information or get connected with them, then you can point your phone camera at the square for them and then touch the yellow link and it'll take you to a web page where you'll fill out some information about your goals and your regular habits and you'll hit submit then one of them will contact you to go through a free no obligation self-assessment. Now, if Raquel invited you, then you will point your phone at the QR for Raquel. And then the same for me. Now, we're going to follow up with each of you because there are a couple of different aspects of the work that we, we do. So let's stop share for just a minute. One of the aspects is that you may need some help in these three areas, body, mind, or finances. And you'd like to find out how those four components can be integrated into your life and help raise your numbers on the trilogy will of health. That is on the receiving side of things. That is the part where you want to go through a free no obligation self-assessment to see if one of our programs would be a fit for you. Or maybe it isn't for you but it's for somebody that you know that could really use a little pick-me-up, someone that's having too many struggles in their life and could use a little help. I wanna encourage you to introduce them to the person that in invited you here tonight in a three-way text. Introduce them and let them know that you heard about this amazingly simple health program that could be a wonderful blessing in their life and that you'd love to encourage them to visit with your friend. So I encourage you, don't give away the details. We got to figure out which one fits them best. And I do want to say that they feel much more comfortable if you introduce them in that three-way text because you're there with them then. So then the, the last aspect is where you don't need help personally in any of these areas, but you have a heart to help others or you know some people in your life that have been struggling for a while and you don't really know how to help them, but you wanna learn and you wanna team, team up with one of these amazing coaches to learn how to help them together. And whenever somebody is considering being a coach, they don't coach their first client alone. We coach them together, again, team coaching. And what that ends up doing is allowing you to learn while you're doing, and at the same time, making a difference in the world as someone else's life is transforming. So let's go down here. And I do have a slide, kind of the same thing. If you want to uh, explore what this could look like in your life, let's explore it. Again, there's no obligation, but we cannot make an informed decision if we don't understand the details. So here's a QR code to use if you want to explore coaching. Face your phone camera towards it and click the little yellow link. Same thing at the bottom. Make sure to put the name of the person that invited you because this particular email will come to me and then we'll set up a team co coaching time to just visit. So I do want to thank our presenters tonight and I want to thank each of you for joining us. So, um, we're going to be doing these Zooms once a month. When you think of someone that could benefit from the message of hope, connect them to your coach. Be a part of something where you're hearing stories of people winning and flourishing. Huh? Learning to flourish. That is our goal. 
I am sure that there is someone that you're thinking of, a good friend, someone you dieted with previously, exercised with, your mom, your brother. They really deserve to hear that there is a solution. And it is really sad that they don't even know that something like this even is available to them. So bring them to this next time or introduce them to your coach that invited you in a three-way text. Help is happening and we all deserve to live a life of thriving. Let me read this quote from our medical director. For most people, they're kind of sleepwalking through life. They're letting life happen to them. They're never really in control. And you know, when you can put your mind where you want to, when you want to, for as long as you want to, that opens up the freedom of truly living an incredible life. And we want everyone to be able to live that incredible life. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Any other questions or comments? And then we'll jump off here. We want everybody to unmute at the end and say goodbye. So any other questions or comments? All right, we'll unmute and say, um, have a fabulous evening or Merry Christmas or <laughs> I hope you guys have a beautiful holiday season. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Have Great job, everybody. Merry Christmas. Job. Merry Christmas. Thank see you. all of you that will see you in Salt Lake. <laughs> and thank you for your help, Barb. <laughs> Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas.